Let me tell you about miracle noodles and why they're awesome. These noodles really are a diet miracle. Not only are they zero calories, seriously, but they're not loaded in lectins. In fact, they're made from glucomonin starch, a starch that comes from a sweet potato-like tuber called the konjac root. Well, the fiber in these miracle noodles is prebiotic fiber. It's the stuff the good bugs in your gut use as food. So not only are you eating a delicious noodle substitute, you're nourishing your microbiome at the same time. So let me tell you how to prepare shirataki noodles the Gundry way. Here's the thing about miracle noodles and the other shirataki noodles. They're a little different from regular pasta. They really do smell a little fishy at first. But rest assured, that smell goes away pretty quickly. And it's not fish. And it doesn't impact the flavor at all. And whatever you do, please don't follow the instructions on the package. Especially if you're using a recipe featured in one of my blogs or my book. Instead, follow these simple recipes. Whether you're using angel hair, fettuccine, or spaghetti, it works like a charm. So, bring a pot of salted water to a boil. Now, remove your noodles from the package and put them in a strainer. So you put the strainer under running water. Now, if you're not in California, you can rinse these for, oh, two or three minutes. And you'll definitely notice a fishy smell. Since it's California, I'm not going to do it that long because the salted water and the boiling will take some of this process out. Okay, so we've got these noodles rinsed. And now we're going to put them in the boiling water. And so we're just going to boil these for a couple minutes. And we'll cut there and I'll show you what's going to happen after we boil them. Okay, so once they're boiled, you strain them again and you put them in a dry pan. Now here's the secret. You put them over medium heat and you stir and stir. Now, the key is you don't have to use any oil, and in fact, the oil at this point will ruin the process. Now, you'll hear them pop and sizzle, and that's actually them drying out. The longer you do this, the more this will taste like what you think of as pasta. So that's about a minute. I could go easily for another minute, they absolutely will not burn. They will not stick. It's actually kind of fun to play with once you get used to the fact that they're not going to stick. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret while this is burning off. If you're a newbie to this, the angel hair variety is smaller and thinner and it'll dry out a lot quicker. The spaghetti is the next up. The fettuccine takes the longest. There's an epidemic sweeping this country. Some would say it's as addictive as hard drugs, or even as deadly. I'll be honest, that's a pretty extreme point of view, but that doesn't mean sugar addiction isn't incredibly dangerous for your health. 